some spells are truly superior to others, Cloak is one of them. Cloak is one of the most strategic spells in the game. Cloak can be used defensively and offensively. Cloak can be used defensively to drop all incoming projectiles, including red and blue mage super shots. However, it requires a bit of practice, but once you have it down, it's extremely useful. When a dragon is cloaked, towers will enter an idle phase where they will not attack. How is cloak used offensively? Cloak can carry spells to different locations. An excellent example and common example is Death Gaze. However, there are several spells such as Thunder, uh, Storm, or Explosive Shield that can be carried around in phase 2. You'll notice that as I cloaked, I traveled to the small island. I made sure the bubble doesn't hit the trebuchet. The point of the matter is making sure your spells are used on the targets that you want. Twenty player curious as to how to use a cloak better? Practice the time. Think about when you're going to use Cloak and how you want to use it. Whether you're going to combine it with another spell, or if you're going to go in and snipe, or if you're going to be sneaky around the base. As the name implies, another defensive use is to skip over islands or to sneak around a base, sniping tough towers. In order to increase the duration of Cloak, you can research, or use runes on that specific dragon. Towards the end is a couple of spells that work really well with Cloak. Just take your time with it, practice. Cloak is one of the very best spells that can be used at every level of gameplay. Check out my Thunder Cloak video if you do want to see a prime example of it being used. I will put the link in the description. See you later, guys.